All right, so today to connect and play with your kids a little bit more, we're going to play a game where we take the very next conversation that you are about to have with your kid, or if you have multiple kids, then you have to do that for each of them individually. And you're going to have that conversation beginning to end, whole thing until it's done with your foreheads touching. Okay, so you got to bring it in really close, all up in each other's face, foreheads touching and see what happens. I mean, I imagine you're already giggling or like, you know, this is going to bring out a lot of goofiness, maybe even awkwardness, you know, it's definitely going to bring a smile. Your foreheads are going to be touching and you're having like a whole conversation. So there's that. And that part is the primary part, just playing and enjoying. But then, you know, see what else, see what else. Um, if you have young children, this may be something that they're really used to because Young kids get up in your face and they're all up in your space a lot more than like, let's say you have a teenager. This might be really different than how you guys usually communicate. And this might be awkward, more awkward for them, you know, but we're going to barrel through it together. It's like, that's what we're doing. It's a game. So we're going to have to work that out. Um, and, you know, there's also these elements. There's elements of sweetness, of looking in each other's eyes and actually feeling physical touch. And um, even things that are kind of like contributing to the awkwardness, like having your breath in each other's face. Um, there's something that's like kind of bonding in that too. Um, even if it's awkward and weird. And I love it. Like my little tiny child is always the one that'll just like tell me exactly what my breath smells like. My daughter would do that too when she was younger. But I find it like beautiful. It's like this beautiful, intimate element of being a mom. I mean, it's embarrassing and sort of awkward too that they like tell me what my breath smells like. Um, but it's like because they don't care, because they don't notice, because they're just telling you how it is, because they're that close to you and that intimate with you that they can just like, yeah, your breath smells like this right now. Uh, you know, and so there's something in that. I mean, that's why I brought up that example because there's like this element of intimacy in it too, because you're so close. And how does the conversation go? You know, do they pay attention to you more? Are you more focused on them? Um, do you guys have more compassion or understanding for each other? Does the conversation go more easily? Is the conversation more fun? Are you more engaged in the conversation? Are they more engaged in the conversation? I mean, just what comes up? I and mean, you may want to adopt some things from it. Um, I know like sometimes it's like, I'll never get my little kid to sit still for that. I mean, maybe your kid is more up in your face and that's more natural for them. Or maybe it's like, no, no, the kid is wild. It's like all over the place. It'll never sit still and focus in like that. And that tells you something too, you know, right? This is all just like feedback, like, okay, that's what I'm dealing with. Maybe this will calm it down and center this child out a little bit more to like actually feel my forehead touching theirs. You know, maybe this works. I don't know. But it's all just an experiment and really mostly just made for laughs, made for closeness. And like, this is what you do with those people that are in your life that you're the most connected with every day. You do goofy games and get all up in each other's face and yeah, just try stuff out. So see how you like it.